So hi everyone, we are Group 8 and today we will be presenting on Nizan Bank's retail strategy along with the challenges it faces because of transforming trends in the banking industry. So um, let's move on to the next slide. And can you just click through so that we have the final slide? Yeah, we're going to start with a brief history of the bank. In 2003, Nizan started off as an asset management company. And within a year of starting off its operations, it uh, got an official banking license and registered itself as Pakistan's first Islamic bank. Fast forward to 2017, and the bank officially launched its mobile app, one of the first banks in the country to do so. Uh, this app offered some very basic features, which included uh, things like bill payments and uh, peer to peer transfers. A few value awarded the Pakistan Banking Awards and was quite a new precedent for all the banks to follow. So this was quite impressive considering that the bank had only been there for 14 years compared to some of the other names in the industry which were, had been around for over 50 years. Over time as the bank's deposits grew and it entered the big five, it's fair to say that the history of Nissan Bank has been defined by two key components of its existence as a financial institution. Number one, sustainability and number two, growth. Next slide. So recently, there had been a shift that had taken place across the globe, and a concept known as digital banking had evolved. So at the time, the very first banking services had been offered on the internet in 1984. Until 2007, technology had been working in tandem with the banking industry. And slowly and slowly, the banks were leveraging on technology to offer better services to their customers. But then in 2008, something big happened, uh, the financial crisis really shook the confidence that a lot of customers had on their bank, right? Because they lost a lot of money. If the banks were supposed to be so secure, why did I end up losing my money? And the industry out service levels and what kind of service to expect. Because what a smartphone really promised you was the fact that you could get anything you want whenever you want at any place you want. So if you wanted to book a car, you could effectively just log into your Uber app and get a car within two minutes. If you wanted food, you could, I don't know, sign up to Food Panda and order something on Food Panda. And customers started asking the same questions of the banking industry. Kiar, why aren't you guys keeping up? Why do I still have to visit a branch? Why do I still have to walk up maybe 10 kilometers away from my home to open up an account, which takes a day or even days, depending on how much documentation I have to submit. So. Given those circumstances, maybe to the customers was that from the comfort of your home, you can operate your bank account using your mobile app. So you didn't need to go to a branch. You didn't need to submit tens of thousands of documentation. All you had to do was download the app, sign up for it within a few minutes and start using the financial services. This created a challenge for some of the other conventional banks, including Nizan Bank, because it really set the expectation. So, next slide. So, moving on to the need, uh, uh, that why Nizan Bank, what, what was the need for Nizan Bank to step into action? Uh, so a rightly pointed out that they started the operations in 2003. We have a couple of reasons for it, which uh, were identified by Mizan Bank themselves. The first one being the low popularity of banking in Pakistan. Um, as per the reports of uh, 2021, uh, which comes up with the fact that only 46.8 million people are considered uh, a bank out of the population of 220 million, which brings up to the ratio of less than 30%. Uh, of the population uh, is banned. So moving on with that percentage, of course, back in 2003, uh, the percentage was even more low. And uh, there were the reasons why the percentage was low because there was a big gap in the market because many of the population uh, uh, did not consider bank the true Islamic, uh, uh, something that is allowed by the religion. Islam, because 97% of the population of Pakistan is considered as Muslims, which is why there was a big gap in the market. 
to fulfill that gap mizan bank uh, step in reaction by getting the first mover advantage next slide please so moving on to the unique selling a uh, proposition uh, by mizan as i rightly pointed out that there was a gap identified by mizan bank that 70% of the population do not out of those 70% the major portion of those population do not go to banks because they considered un islamic mizan wanted to introduce a missing gap in the market with the high demand of sharia compliant solution so start this is all what that started the evolution of mizan bank well, it's they started their operation with the promise of pakistan's first islamic bank and offering its customers sharia compliant banking products and as the mission uh, as the vision statement of uh, mizan bank says about establish islamic banking as banking of first choice so this proves that mizan's uh, usp was to prioritize sharia compliant banking along with the financial services rather than being the global leader in uh, the market and moving on to the second point that providing uh, supreme customer services though mizan bank gained the first mover advantage by being the first and sole uh, complete islam bank but that couldn't lie for a larger part of time because again there was competition competition provided as many other banks followed the sharia compliant solutions thus mizan had an aim to improve aim to provide uh, supreme customer services and have uh, minimal customer complaints or grievances and this was one of the first banks in the country to have a dedicated customer service department which was solely responsible to report directly to the board so these were the two main usps aligned for mizan bank which may have made mizan bank what it is currently and next slide please Okay, so Mizan Bank was never really interested in aggressive marketing, unlike other banks, and it had a very limited uh, marketing strategy to opt for. But uh, with millennials and Gen Z being the new set of customers, the strategy needs to be revised. As competitive banks have managed to gain mileage over Mizan Bank by heavily investing in ATL and BGL activities. One thing that has to be kept in mind regarding the marketing strategy that Mizan is a Islamic bank and it has restrictions and limited activities that it can carry out. The bank has to follow a very strict guideline. For instance, no music or any other activity that would tarnish the image of the bank. So to attract the target audience, a digital marketing agency was onboarded with the purpose of enhancing Mizan Bank's social media presence. And the bank quickly gained over two million followers on their Facebook page. That is the highest record by any bank in Pakistan. Also, the impressions and customer interactions on Mizan Bank's page increased tenfold. So, a few of the promotional activities uh, by Mizan Bank were 50% off with their debit card on California Pizza. They were Kareem Friday with 40% off, 10% off given on online ticket purchase with Emirates. And then there was a Ramadan deal which gave uh, up to 50% off on restaurants, fast food chains, and five-star hotels. Uh, moreover, Mizan has partnered with a microfinance banks, Jazz Cash and Easy Pesa, for transferring transferring funds up to rupees thirty thousand. So this explains that Mizan is trying to expand its portfolio while being within the limits of an, of an Islamic bank. Now this offer seems attractive to young adults and helps them on daily basis, but this doesn't seem to be enough because there are other banks who have a wider range of customers and are doing just the same. And in some, case, some cases, even better offers. For instance, KGBL and Faisal banks have almost 50, 10 to 15% off on every famous restaurant. So what more can Bizan offer? It can enhance visibility. It can work on the app and have more facilities online because the millennials and Gen Z don't like to visit the branch for petty, petty issues. E-banking is what attracts them. They aren't interested in how banking works, they just care about their needs. So if Mizan has an app that works flawlessly, doesn't hang, and is simply to use, then it will attract many new customers because customers are only loyal to products and services that are easy to avail. Okay, um, so Mizan already had a widespread branch network of uh, 800 plus branches spread all across Pakistan in different cities. And their branch network is obviously not the largest, but uh, they open their branches in a strategic location to ensure maximum footfall per branch. 
um, than any other uh, any other bank in Pakistan. Uh, in each branch, they open uh, follow one of the three models. Uh, so for corporate and commercial branches, they are normally opened in uh, high business areas with lots of commercial activities. And these uh, commercial branches offer same day clearing as well. Uh, for premium branches, um, actually, uh, Maria, if you can uh, keep clicking, there are uh, animations on the slide. Yeah. Um, so for premium branches, these branches operate in affluent neighborhoods with key focus on targeting high net worth clients and bringing in huge deposit. So currently, there are 14 premium branches of Mizan Bank, of which 11 are in Karachi, Lahore, and Islamabad. Uh, thirdly, the regular retail branches, they offer standard products and make up a uh, majority of the branch network of Mizan Bank. These branches operate on a cost efficient scale without compromising on the service level standards that currently Mizan Bank offer. And in, in addition to the branch network, Mizan also operate uh, a network of 50 off-site ATMs located at famous hotels, shopping centers and hospitals. Next slide, please. Um, yeah, so we all have witnessed how COVID has brought disruptive innovation in all the industries and banking sector here is no exception. Uh, the banking sector has uh, been undergoing a broad based digital transformation as more and more individuals are now looking for remote ways to bank and alternate distribution channels such as mobile apps, ATMs, uh, cards, etc., are now becoming more important. Mizan Bank knew uh, that the expectation of the customers were already changing even before the pandemic hit. Uh, the shift to digital, however, was uh, vastly accelerated during the past few months, where physical distancing measures have necessitated the need for simpler, faster, and more convenient banking channels. As Pakistan's largest Islamic bank, uh, they offer one of the most extensive and reliable ADC platforms to their customers. Um, one good thing is that Mizan already uh, have both the internet and mobile banking available and the mobile app has consistently been ranked by Google as the number one banking game in Pakistan. In addition, the bank also has an uh, ADC team whose goal is to launch an even better version of the mobile app. This new version of uh, their mobile app will include features like uh, QR code payments and mobile tap and pay based on NFC. Um, yeah. Uh, as per the uh, Q1 2021 financials and CEO report that are published on Mizan's website. So over the past few months, Mizan Bank's overall uh, financial transaction through digital channels have witnessed a growth of more than 60% in monthly volume compared to the pre-COVID period. And this increase uh, is an evidence that the way People Bank is rapidly changing as uh, lockdown and social distancing major continue to limit the choice of physical channels. So customers are now opting for digital channels across the board. And as the fastest growing bank in the country, Mizan um, now need to focus on prioritizing investment on further uh, strengthening its technological platform that will allow the bank to scale up its capacity to support ever increasing number of uh, both financial and non-financial transaction through its digital platforms. Um, yeah, it will also help uh, in becoming the bank more agile and responsive to rapidly uh, changing customer needs, competitive pressures and regulatory environment. And this new technological investment will also allow them to venture into new businesses like uh, like prepaid cards, virtual cards, merchant acquiring and e-commerce acquiring whenever needed. Uh, Mizan app uh, has already become a flagship product on their ADC platform. The app has a customer rating of over 20,000 reviews and is ranked as the number one banking app on Google Play Store. Uh, through their app, uh, the bank offer over 300 bill payment options, including school, colleges, utility companies, mobile top-ups, ISP payments, government taxes, Chalan payments, and whatnot. Um, yeah, Mizan Bank also offer fast payment experience for both bill payments and fund transfer due to its very simple and intuitive interface. Moreover, the app also offers a number of uh, other useful features like um, uh, Kibla direction, debit card management, details of Mizan Bank discounts and promotion, uh, branch and ATM location with navigation, etc. Uh, the app uh, provides secure on-the-go access to accounts to help customers manage their finances on the move. Uh, over to you, Mariana. Thank you, Jawad. Uh, my name is Maria, and I will be discussing issues with delivery and service quality pertaining to debit cards offered by Mizan Bank. A debit card, as we all know, in this era has become a need. Given the circumstances, there has been a decline in willingness to carry cash, 
and hence there has been increase in the rate at which individuals are needing a debit card. Now, the debit card is not something that is procured the minute the account is activated, but it actually takes weeks. Um, and this process is obviously a bummer for someone who has deposited uh, their money to activate the account, but uh, is now being forced to wait before they can actually use their money, they actually spend their money, and, uh, and it could be for any need or want. Another issue that arises here is the practice of delivering the debit card at the customer's parent branch rather than delivering it to the customers uh, directly, which could have been more comfortable for the customers given that they have to make uh, multiple visits. So this practice only agitates the customers further, considering that uh, the customer has to make multiple visits along with multiple calls to the helpline to basically know the delivery status. But uh, most of the time, the helpline excuses from having such information and directs the customer to the branch only. Um, this um, basically is a lack of communication. And many customers have questioned the purpose of a helpline if they have to contact the branch directly or end up visiting the branch. And the cherry on top is that uh, the delivery of cards is actually very de uh, delayed further than promised. So that's another uh, issue which customers have to face. Okay, so besides the card taking too long to be delivered, um, okay, so besides the card taking too long to be delivered, there are also cases of lazy customers who refuse to pick up their cards or they basically cancel their accounts or receive cards with, um, let's say, um, wrong information, incorrect information. And as you can see in, uh, okay, let's go to it later. The returns are very risky and greatly affect the bank as any return card has to be, you know, destroyed and the cost incurred has to be, uh, is never recovered. So given Nizan's data, the card's delivery rate is 90% successful and 10% is unsuccessful, which means 10% of the cards are either not delivered, not claimed or have to be destroyed. And Mizan needs to focus on how to reduce the 10% because it actually causes great loss. Moving on from acquiring the card, let's discuss about a card that has been lost, stolen, or misplaced. That is where the helpline comes handy. However, most of the time, customers are requested to visit the branch. And this is one point where the customers complain of the application being too busy. Basic. Many customers have expressed the urge to have an option in the app through which uh, they can request for a new card. And as we can see in the graph, there 20% of cards are replacement cards. So the number is quite high. And as you can see in the application layout, we have, and as Mirza, uh, as Javad and Ali and uh, Saar discussed, uh, they have options of funds transfer, bill payment, and uh, statement generation, which is basically something that every other bank has been offering in their mobile apps. So many customers have voiced their urge on how other banks have applications that act as digital marketing tools and digital malls, and maybe Mizan can launch something like that. That's it from my side, over to Sohei for the conclusion. So in conclusion, banking is bound to change like every other industry out there. And it's really incumbent on conventional banks like Mizan Bank, like Citibank and other banks of the world to make sure that they keep up with customer expectations and deliver on its initial promise, which was following a customer centric approach and allowing that to aid towards uh, their sustainability and growth. So, yeah, that's that's the conclusion.